Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news, live from Bahrain International, with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Khalifa ratified and issued Law 16 of 2017, after it had been approved by the Shura and Representatives Councils. His Majesty the King ratified and issued Law 16 on the Convention of Air Services between the Government of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Government of Hungary, signed in Manama on January 21, 2016. The Prime Minister and, their, and Ministers, in their respective capacities, shall implement the law, which will come into effect the day following its publication in the official Gazette. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa yesterday attended a lunch banquet hosted by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom and Northern Ireland at Windsor Castle on the occasion of His Majesty's attendance of the Royal Windsor Horse Show. His Majesty the King and Her Majesty the Queen exchanged friendly talks on the deep-rooted historic relations between the two royal families and kingdoms. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom and Northern Ireland yesterday attended the honouring ceremony of the Military Horse Show Jumping Championship, which was held as part of the International Royal Windsor Horse Show Festival. Also present was a number of British VIPs and a large audience. The championship was held for the Cups of His Majesty the King and the Military Jumping Show Championship. The ceremony began with the playing of the British anthem. Then the show jumping show commenced in front of the royal podium with the participation of the Bahraini team and other military teams.
At the end of the show, His Majesty the King and Her Majesty the Queen honored the winners. Bahrain Defense Forces BDS Military Sports Association won first place in the Military Jumping Show Championship. His Majesty honored the winners, Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, First Sergeant Ahmed Mansour, and Lance Corporal Sabr Hassan, the winner of the Championships Cup. His Majesty also honoured the three winning riders in the Endurance Championship and the rider Jafar Mirza of the Royal Endurance Team for winning fifth place in the 120km race and Ali Al Subay of the Bahraini Royal Team for winning first place in the 80km race. His Highness, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, honoured the race winners. His Majesty the King thanked the British monarch for the warm welcome, commending her keen interest in bolstering bilateral relations. He described Bahrain's participation as reflecting deep-rooted historic ties, bonding the two friendly countries and peoples. His Majesty affirmed the keenness of the Kingdom to participate in such races for their global reputation and high level of competition. He noted it provides Bahraini riders with an opportunity to increase communication with and exchange and gain experience with international riders. Then the Secretary of the BDF's Military Sports Association, Navy Colonel Numan Rashid Al Hassan, introduced the winners of the Military Championship Cup to His Majesty the King, who congratulated them for their remarkable sporting achievement hailing their competence and outstanding performance and wishing them further success. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gribia Palace a number of senior officials. Their meeting covered domestic affairs, highlighting progress witnessed in various fields. His Royal Highness hailed the competency of Bahrainis in the medical and health sector, affirming the government's keenness to maintain the development of this field. He underscored the necessity of developing this vital sector to be consistent with global developments in order to keep health services at the highest level. His Royal Highness the Premier emphasised that the government's main objective is to serve citizens' needs, as people are the basis of any advancement in the Kingdom. He said the strength of the Bahraini community lies in their close solidarity, thwarting dangers aimed at the community.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister received today at Caribbean Palace the Philippine President's Special Envoy to the GCC, Dr. Amabel Aguilas, who is currently on an official visit to the Kingdom. His Royal Highness recalled the recent successful visit of the President of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte, and expressed his appreciation of the efforts exerted by President Duterte to achieve sustainable development for his country. Dr. Aguilas conveyed to His Royal Highness the Premier the greetings of the Philippines President and his aspirations that His Royal Highness would accept his invitation to visit the Philippines. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister asserted the role of investment in different sectors in strengthening bilateral relations. The two sides also discussed means of broadening the spectrum of cooperation and reviewed topics of mutual concern. His Royal Highness hailed the increasing bilateral partnerships that reflect the strong ties between the two countries and their people. He stressed the importance of using, using both countries' recourses to serve common interests in economics, trade and investment. His Royal Highness asked Dr. Aguilas to convey his greetings to President Duterte, along with his sincere aspirations of further advancement and prosperity for him and to the people of the Philippines. Dr. Aguilas expressed his appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his efforts to solidify bilateral relations, confirming that these relations are continually progressing in various fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister received today at Caribbean Palace the Gulf Cooperation Council Agricultural Cooperation Committee on the occasion of its 28th meeting in the Kingdom, in the presence of the ministers in charge of agricultural affairs in the GCC countries. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of food and water security in the GCC, stressing that Saudi Arabia is the centre for this and that the efforts of the GCC countries' leaders support achieving food and water security. His Royal Highness noted the agricultural sector as a promising economic sector in the GCC that could lead to investment projects, emphasizing the importance of enhancing joint cooperation to improve the agricultural sector and livestock, vegetation and fisheries in the GCC. He noted the necessity of cooperation that guarantees Gulf cultural policies, hailing the development of GCC food products industries that have been achieved. He expressed aspirations to speed up cooperation in agricultural projects and products including date production. His Royal Highness urged joint Gulf investments across the agricultural sector, food industries and livestock and fish production. He stressed that guaranteeing food security represents a global challenge in light of the crises the world faces, noting the GCC countries have developed agricultural production through supporting local produce and foreign investments in producing food in brotherly and friendly countries. He also urged more cooperation on food security to unite efforts to develop domestic resources. For their part, the GCC agricultural ministers expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his interest in enhancing Gulf cooperation and integration in all fields, commending His Royal Highness's initiatives in various Gulf development fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister received today at Garibaya Palace his granddaughter, Sheikha Aisha bint Rashid Al Khalifa. He highlighted that her graduation from the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst is an example of the strong determination of Bahraini women and their willingness to engage in all fields with confidence, 
making her eligible to take her important role in society. His Royal Highness lauded Sheikha Aisha's achievement as the first Bahraini woman to graduate from Sandhurst Academy, as well as her enthusiasm to serve her country in the military. He noted the keenness of the Bahraini youths to receive academic and military educations to serve their country, pointing out that the government is keen to adopt strategies that encourage youth achievement in order to elevate the kingdom's status globally. He also affirmed that the military is a field of sacrifices, which guarantees the homeland is a safe environment for developing and achieving goals. For her part, Sheikh Aisha expressed her deep thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his support, asserting her keen interest to continue her academic pursuit to serve the kingdom. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali bin Salah al Salah, chaired today the Council's weekly meeting. The Council approved the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee's recommendation of rejecting a draft law, amending a number of company law provisions which prohibit the government's monopolization of establishing companies or contributing over 30% of the capital, except in the oil and gas sector and Bahrain International Circuit Company. The Council approved the government's request of postponing the consideration of the proposal of sports professionalism. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, patronized the ninth batch of the International AMA School Students' Graduation, where he deputized the Minister of Education, Dr. Majdal Noemi, to attend the ceremony in the presence of the Philippine President's Special Envoy to the Gulf Cooperation Council, GCC States, Dr. Amabella Aguilas. The Minister conveyed His Royal Highness's congratulations and wishes of further success to the graduates, hailing his interest in education in the Kingdom as a cornerstone of development and prosperity. The minister stated that education in the kingdom had developed as a result of the support of the wise leadership, which enabled the ministry to develop its services in public and private education. For his part, the Philippine President's Special Envoy expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for patronizing the ceremony, commending the kingdom's development in education. He revealed in his speech plans of opening a new building in the school that can accommodate 2,000 students. For her part, the school's principal, Marietta Sikat, congratulated the graduating students, thanking their parents for their support of the school's efforts during the past years and wishing everyone success. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, 4,200 residential units will be distributed in all the kingdom's governorates. The Minister of Housing, Bassem bin Yaqub al Hamar, announced the announced the commencement of receiving the first batches of the Northern City units. He noted that the distribution will continue until next week for consecutive batches to accommodate the numbers of beneficiaries of the project in an organized manner. He affirmed that the Ministry continues to achieve the leadership's aspirations of providing residential services for eligible citizens. Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, has opened the Islamic Library at the Islamic Cultural Center, the ICC, in Moscow. Mufti of Moscow, Idiar Aliyatudinov, received the SCIA Deputy Chairman and gave an overview of future programs. The two sides discussed reinforcing cooperation. The SCIA Deputy Chairman presented a group of Arabic and Islamic books 
as the SEIA gift to the references to benefit the centre. The Russian Mufti expressed appreciation of the SEIA gesture and wished Bahrain and his people further progress and stability under the royal leadership.